we are back and we're going to be answering your questions. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's, you know, obviously me, Derpy, and there's the doctor. Hello. It took forever to get down here. Sorry, I was meeting a guest. All oh, right. I'm not going to be to guests. Now, first of all, uh, because this was a donation stream, we've got a few shout-outs to do for those who sent some generous donations. So, shout-outs to... Leaflet. Leaflet. And a big mm. happy birthday to Angel Matsuyo. Let's both say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Angel Matsuyo. Happy birthday, Angel Matsuyo. Uh, Matsuyo, yes. Matsuyo, yes. And another shout out for Ask Starry Skies. Hello, Ask Starry Skies. Yes, thank you for your donation, Ask Starry Skies. You're delicious. <laughs> yes, we can buy plenty of muffins with that. Oh, uh, English muffins? I'm going to kick your butt. I like them. They have plenty of room for butter. You're horrible. They taste good. Okay, so... We have our first set of questions. We're going to take 10 minutes to answer these, then we'll take a break and have people send in more questions if they need to, or ponies, or whatever species you are that are watching. <clears throat> okay, from Leaflet, how did Derpy get her cutie mark? I still don't remember. <laughs> um, I would think it had to do with bubbles or something. Well, it wasn't that time I was in the tub. I know that was for sure. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Oh, that time the tub. I remember that story. That was a funny story, actually. Don't even. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. <sighs> well, see, the thing about my cutie... <laughs> so I saw someone answer the stream. <laughs> it's not tub fart! That's not my special talent! <laughs> my special talent is... is... is making a situation fun! That's always the best thing to do. Yay! But I just can't remember how I got it exactly. I just decided one day that I like making light of every situation because that's what bubbles do, and that's how I got my bubbles. Happy little bubbles. Okay, this one's for you. Ooh. Um, what was the doctor doing or trying to do when he got pulled into the ponyverse? Well, um, well, that one's a little bit fuzzy. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I don't remember. You okay, Doctor? I don't know why. It just feels like it's something important. It just, it's just really fuzzy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, yeah, moving on. Moving on, then. Uh, <clears throat> Would Derpy rather explore the timeline of Equestria or visit other worlds? Well, I kind of like both, but other worlds are a lot more fun. We seriously need to do that more. We haven't done it a lot. Why haven't we done it a lot, Doctor? Well, the question's very distracting. And you know how I am about distractions. Well, yeah. that and also the other places are pretty dangerous, though. They're really nice to go to. I recommend going to Stratovus 9, maybe, sometime, or whatever. Well, that sounds fun. All right. Maybe next time. Yeah. Now we got another question. Have you ever met a zebracorn or zebracus? And if so, what were their names and what were they like? Those exist? Uh, well, yeah, what, what? Zebra unicorns and zebra pegasi? Are you serious? They're in zebraca, yes. Oh my, we need uh, to go there sometime. Yeah, I guess we can go. <laughs> They're... What? I've never been to zebra cut. It's kind of dangerous. Well, well, I like danger. I heard there's elephants there, too. I don't elephants. know if they talk or not. Well, if you have talking buffalo, I don't see why you wouldn't have talking elephants. I mean, elephants are really intelligent. And then you have to kind of go past the Changeling Forest to get there. Changeling yeah. Forest? What? We're not going to those places, Doctor. What? Uh, what? Next what? question. Uh, okay. What would you do if you met an alicorn that was not a princess? Huh. Well, I'd actually be wondering how they became an alicorn, what they can do. I mean, that's a lot of power. Wings and a horn. Oh, those are very nice features. But really, I'm really curious on what they can do. I never heard of an alicorn that's not a princess. I guess I'd be excited. I don't know. They was don't seem all that different from other ponies. Wasn't it like one DJ or something that had horns? Oh, sorry, and a horn. Wings and a horn. horn Multi-horn pegasi. Hmm. A bullseye. <laughs> I'm just 
just gonna ignore you now. <laughs> what? I want a song at the poolside. <clears throat> Doctor, would you like it if your mane glowed? <laughs> and of what color? Ooh. Well, I really like blue. Especially blue. I mean, if it was nice blue, nice, nice, but maybe calm blue, like a TARDIS blue, I could represent. Represent the TARDIS in time. Blue glowing mane. You... Well, it'd be streaks, not the whole thing. It'd be like, streaks. Well, streaks in there, you know, like a nice, maybe a few changes here and there, like a light blue, darker blue, maybe a few off colors. I guess that wouldn't look too bad, but I like you normal. Oh, thank you. What have you learned about unicorns so far, Doctor? Ooh. Oh, no. Well, um, <sighs> they do have a nasty right hook. Oh, my word. I felt that for a week. Um... I also found out they have a nice... Well, I actually didn't find out they had tingly sensations. I was kind of hoping that um, TikTok would kind of do that. But, um... What kind of magic do you want them to use on you? Well, I don't know. Levitation, maybe. Or teleportation? Or that maybe... sounds dangerous. Well, it's not bad. It's not like I'm a fly or anything. I mean, it's not really, like, a huge deal. I mean, if they can teleport themselves, I don't see why they can't teleport others. I guess. Let's see. I saw something about that glitter that was on the pillow. Don't ask about that, really. He, he, TikTok's pretty upset about you doing that. Well, can I still have some? No! Oh, okay. You're disgusting! Okay! Really? Sorry, did I say something wrong? Yes, you did. No. <clears throat> oh. Digipony of Destiny, it's another one for you. Doctor, I'm looking into transdimensional disturbances, and I noticed you faced off with a Jabberwock not too long ago. Do you think there's any reason the Jabberwock was in the castle of the two pony sisters, or was it just a coincidence? <sighs> well, the Jabberwock, if you're going based on the old tale, it's kind of, I don't know, cliche, but not really. It's like, it likes, it likes to go for classic scenery. Having a perfect no medieval place adds to a nice atmosphere, especially if you're like a transdimensional being. And it was in the middle but, of the Everfree Forest, which is kind of creepy. So is, I guess creepy places are where creepy, creepy jabby walks like to go. But even in the house in the castle, the two pony sisters, well, if I was attracted to some kind of past memories, I might have been implanted, or sorry, imprinted there. That'd be all I'm guessing. But could be, could not be, who knows? Oh, and sorry about that. I was kind of distracted for a second. Shush. Be sure so, the name. so this one's from Angel Motsuyo. So, Derby, you claim over and over again that you don't have any oh, roman excuse me, you don't have any romantic feelings for the Doctor. <coughs> Liar. <coughs> hey! Uh, hey, that's what it says. I didn't say that. Mm. Um, I was just going reading the script. Excuse me. But what about TikTok? He seems like a nice stallion, and you two do seem to have quite a few mm -hmm. things in common. What? 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 Trying to get me hooked up with different stallions. Make up your minds. I, 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 I. Ooh. You and TikTok actually do look kind of cute together. I what are you talking I'm... about? No. Oh my, you are red. No, I'm not. Well, just like I said. <sighs> okay. What well, I mean? Well, okay. Yes, 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 yes. TikTok was kind of a town outcast, and I was kind of a town outcast when we grew up. But I mm. mean, you know, we don't. We're not from the same time. And, well, you know, he's really smart, and you're really smart, and I'm not as smart, and, you know, <laughs> I mean, you two are a bit more alike than me and him, so. Well, are you saying we're a match? <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have that thing for ginger unicorns. No, you and me, wait, wait, you and me, what about that? <laughs> I'm too busy thinking about you and TikTok. <laughs> Well, I would like to see how he does as a partner. Excuse me? Next question, please. Next question. Uh, Ahem. Angel um, Matsu, you asked, so, Doctor, hypothetically, what would your reaction be if you suddenly met Jack in this universe and he started to get friendly with Derpy or TikTok? Who's Jack? Um. Jack. Really. I feel good and bad about that name. It's like something else that's still missing, I'm sorry. Is oh, I really feel it right there on the tip of my tongue, right there in my head, but it's just like glancing in the distance. I can't see what it is. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. 
<laughs> what, tell him to stop it? Tell, wow. What? Well, tell Jack to stop it. I would have actually preferred he would have kind of stopped doing what he did. <sighs> next question. Yeah, next question. You're getting upset. <clears throat> Jelly Wagner asks, Hello, Derpy and the Doctor. I was wondering, how are you two liking TikTok as a companion so far? I think he's fun. I mean, he really likes, he, he really enjoys his time. I could tell. Mm, yeah, he's pretty fun. Still would have liked to help him with the toaster. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It just kind of goes in, heats up the bub red, and then it comes out as, quote unquote, toast. Don't, but don't tell him that. I think, I think he really likes the idea that it's, Bread that gets sacrificed for toast. <laughs> oh, I just imagine a little we tribe. Can't, you can't tell him where toast comes from. That'd be like telling him Santa doesn't exist. Mm, okay, I won't tell him. Or, or the tooth pony. Well, what are your th- what are your thoughts on them? Well, nothing. Do you believe? Of course I do! Okay. Um, there is the next question. Tooth Breezy, yes. Okay. Next question. Ask Starry Skies. These are going to be the last questions before we take a break to get more questions. So, <clears throat> Very quickly, before we continue, I'm going to give a link to the ask box. So any pony that wants to send questions to us, please send them to Dr. Hibbs and Assistant's ask box, and we'll go through them during our break. Um, we're going to be bringing in another character after the next ten after the next questions are answered. Uh, so okay, so it's this one. Then we do one more, and then we'll bring in. Sorry, uh, we'll bring in um, another character. Anyway, Ask Starry Skies asks, Doctor, do you ever have trouble finding your tie? What would you do if it went missing? I don't really have trouble finding my tie. It's like a really nice green. I mean, if I lost it, though, I don't know what I'd really do. I mean, I don't even see you take it off. Well, I don't think I would lose it, but if I lost it... Do you sleep in your tie? Ah, no. That's a yes face. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. You sleep in your tie. That's why it smells funky. Doctor! Well, I, I wash it on occasion. Ew! Washed so it sounds, smells fresh. Do you even have Febreze in this universe? Febreze? Full breeze? <laughs> 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 Oh, that was bad. Uh, that, 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 yeah, now I kind of see what you mean by horse pun, because that's not actually a thing. You can't just slap full into everything. Well, you do with every other horse no, name. No, you don't. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't apply to Appaloosa. What's wrong with Appaloosa? It's just apples. What's, what's wrong with apples? Do you have a problem with apples? No, but it's the fact that you used a fruit for the first half. So? Hmm. Well, why don't you just go trotting over to Trotsdale while you're at it? Hmm, let's see. Derpy, does the doctor still have any strange habits left over from before he became a pony? Well, how should I know? I mean, he does all sorts of weird things that I know that ponies wouldn't do. Doctor, are there any things that you think that you still do from your old universe that a pony wouldn't do? Hmm. Let's see. Have you figured out how the bathroom works yet? Ah, ha, 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 I'm still working on that. It's not that hard! <sighs> I'm trying to use a toilet. It isn't that hard. What are you, two? No. Well, maybe 2,000 somewhere, but that's a different time. <sighs> well, it was 200, and that was an interesting instance of the bathroom. Um, right. Is that why one of the bathroom doors is locked? Mm, yeah, it's kind of a silly story. You don't need to hear about it now. Okay, I'm not going to ask. Ahem. <clears throat> Man, it was messy and very sudsy. Doctor, what's your favorite thing about being pony-shaped? Well, it's kind of weird having a pocket, for one thing. I mean, how often do you reach back and you have a pocket in your hindquarters? But, Always. Um, I feel the thing about being pony-shaped is a different sensations. 
The only thing that kind of bugs me a little bit is the size of my nose on occasion. It's a little bit blocky. What? Well, you do kind of have a long face. Oh, oh, very funny. I got a little petite peep. Yeah, it's very boopable. Don't boop. No. Bad what? doctor. Bad doctor. No booping the derp nose. No booping the derp nose. Why not? Because it's the derp nose. The derp nose? The derp nose. Is it that extreme that I can't be booped? If you boop it, it'll make my eye go funny. It's a button? No, it's not <laughs> a button! All right. So that's our first set of questions. That's 15 minutes. We went beyond what we were supposed to. So we're going to take a five-minute break. Be sure to send asks to our Tumblr, and we will answer them uh, after we screen through them. So we'll be back in five, ten minutes.